Hello friends! In this video I would like to review our new theme release version 4.17.2b. Let's start with the more global changes and then move on to the smaller but still very useful ones. I would like to immediately highlight that although this update contains quite a lot of changes, including layout changes, you cannot be afraid to update since they will not affect your current layout. But if you want to get the same layout as in the new version of the theme, then of course you will have to update it too. You can do this yourself according to the instructions in the documentation or order the theme update servers on our website. Please also note that in this version we have made changes to the files of all standard color schemes. If you use the basic color scheme, then to save your colors and settings, we recommend that you clone the color scheme with the personal name and only then update, since the standard color schemes will be overwritten. Right away I want to show you the homepage, where we can notice many changes which we will look at in more detail in order as the video progresses. In this update we focused on creating some adaptive structures for displaying seasonal offers or your other various selections of goods and for this we work on the new mechanics, new sections, blocks, their headings, a delayed loading mechanism and more. Also, in this release, in addition to new changes, we have done a tremendous amount of work on almost all interface elements. Now all indents, font sizes and other elements have been thoroughly redesigned and adjusted to single standard. Now let's go through all the changes one by one. And the first thing I would like to highlight is the new functionality that complements the mechanism of lazy loading of sections. In the theme settings in the general tab, we have added a new section with skeleton settings. This was done in order to remove layout twitching when loading the page, which will also improve the CLS indicators and Google page speed. Here we can set the skeleton height for each block. These settings will be used when loading block in the section with the Use Lazy Loading Section setting enabled, unless personal dimensions are specified in each specific block. Also in the blocks themselves, the skeleton settings sections has been added, which allows you to specify the height of the skeleton block for each device individually. The easiest way to find out the block height is to use the developer tools in your browser. For example, in Chrome, press F12, then Ctrl Shift C, point at the block and see its height. For example, 550 pixels in this case. Next, we can notice the new functionality for blocks with headings. Now they can be easily and beautifully designed using different settings, such as heading in center, decorate the header with the stripe, header size, and reduce the contrast of the header. You can play with these settings and choose the best combination for your store. Here, for example, we can see the headline looks like in the center, with the stripe and color design for the part of the sentence. Also, now in the scroller product block template, it's possible to specify the number of products displayed on different devices thanks to the new settings, number of elements for a small laptop, for a tablet and for mobile. Let's set three for a mobile, for example, and look at the result. In the small items product list template, we have added a new block setting icon width. This setting allows you to set the size of the product icon in the list. Let's set for example 150 pixels and look at the result. We can also notice the new color scheme which this demo store is built with. Its name is Orange. And also a new color scheme which will now be selected by default for our demo stores, Malachite.
In the color scheme settings, we can now also change the colors of the bottom sticky panel for mobile, background color and icon color. Also, in this version, we have added the long awaited functionality that allows you to fill the contact block with your own content. Now you can create a block with contacts, add as many phones and other information as you like, and display it in the bottom sticky panel by simply indicating its ID here. Now let's go through all the innovations in the functionality of our extended banners. There are quite a few of them in this release. The new version has a new template extended banner several banners in a row. This template allows you to display several banners with different types of navigation. Let's look for example at the dot navigation. The peculiarity of the native scroller navigation is that you can use the minimum banner width setting with it, which allows you to maintain the proportions of the banner rather than transform its content. We see that it's the mobile phone screen, but the banner remains at 300 pixels as specified in the settings. We can also notice how adaptability for its elements has improved in the banner. When we change the screen size, we can notice how the banner content adapts, how the image changes and how the font size changes. With this mechanic, you will not always need to create separate banners for mobile devices, which will save your time as an entrepreneur. Now let's move directly to the banner settings. We can notice the presets for the field banner header settings. They will help you design your banner header in a non-standard way. By clicking on a preset, we edit and can immediately use it or just see what it looks like and then manually add such code if necessary. Presets can be added several times, there are no restrictions. Here for example are the presets about the heading, thin font, and a new row in action. We also see the same functionality for the custom CSS class field. Presets change the basic parameters of banner elements. Here is an example of the action of the button at the bottom preset. You can see the text is on top and the button is on the bottom. You can find out more about the functionality of presets in our documentation. This step for setting the mask transparency level has been changed, now from 5 to 100%. It has become even more convenient to adjust transparency. For the displayed object YouTube video field, we added the ability to specify the full link to the video and not just the identifier, which is now much more convenient. We also added a block with the video preview. We also see a new setting vertical position of images, which allows you to center the image top, center and bottom. For the banner button, we also see a new design type, standard, outline and text. We also see that for the add mask setting, we have added a new type of mask, semi-transparent smooth dimming. In addition to reviewing the new functionality, let's now go over the changes to the existing one. We can notice the scroll bar, which has become wider. Now let's look at the changes in the design of the card page.
we also see the changed design of the blog page elements. And for a blog with the blog articles, we recommend using the template supplied by the theme, which is called Blog Latest Posts, with a maximum number of elements of 7. I would also like to point out that we have removed the markup type theme setting for the blog article. Further markup will be specified in our new add-on SEO for blog, which will be also released soon. On the wishlist page, we have changed the location of the delete button. Now it has become more convenient and it looks way better. In mobile view, it's now possible to display a menu block with the template horizontal drop down list with icons, but the only first level links are displayed. We can see such an implementation on Amazon. Spaces between sections can now be chosen more flexibly. We have added new padding options. On the promotions page for product bundles, we changed the design of the elements and fixed bugs in the pop-up window of the block with products from the bundle. Now let's take a closer look at our new change in the layout which I showed at the very beginning of the video, an adaptive structure that allows you to combine blocks with products and banners. While watching the video we saw the structures in two layouts with different contents. Here are a couple more options for how you can build such section. For example, seasonal offers for picnics, diagonal banners for atmosphere and mood, main products in the center, additional ones on the side in the form of a list, and below is a block with the related products. Here's another option for a barbecue. Of course, there are also exceptions here. Not all blocks can be placed here expecting that adaptability will remain. For example, a product block with a grid with show more button template is not appropriate here. Also, we can notice here two types of decorations for the blocks inside, a great background and a frame around the edge. This is achieved by specifying certain CSS classes in the block settings. It is also, of course, important that all these blocks are to be placed in one section with the mixed grid class. There are now many examples of use of such structures on modern websites. Take Walmart, for example. As you can see, a certain template for presenting such structures is used here. On the left, there is basically a large block with an anchor product, then various related offers. Below, there will always be a block with goods. Most often, this structure is used to show some seasonal offers. Now, you can easily create the same structure or even better thanks to the new functionality in the theme. That's it guys for this video. Subscribe to our channel and all the social medias to be notified about all the updates and new releases from Alex Brandon team.